Row! 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 You're going nowhere! See? Abby, row I'm rowing. No. Okay. Row! Row! Welcome to Hamptop! Welcome to Hampton Up. As the weather's been warming up, the Northampton Community Rowing Team has been taking on the Connecticut River. Crew is a very physically intensive sport that requires high stamina and strength. There's much more to the sport than just row, row, rowing the boat. We spoke to people on the team to learn more about the sport and how it works and the challenges that come with it. Communication is very important, otherwise people could get hurt. We have to make sure that we know where the boats are at all times and that people don't get hit in the head with the riggers, which are metal struts coming out of the side of the boat. I think communication is one of the like most vital part about crew, where needing to like have the boat move well, you need to be able to trust and communicate with everybody in your boat. Be able to talk to your coxswain on what you want to hear and what you don't want to hear. Also in rowing, since like everyone besides the coxswain is facing backwards, it's really important that the coxswain tells you like how many meters are left and where you're going what you're doing because otherwise we really don't know. Training is very hard um, but it works well. So it's five days a week. Um, we're typically on the water. But if we can't we'll use the rowing machines up on land or we'll do a workout with weights. So the biggest two jobs are rowers and coxswains. The coxswains are people in the boat who have a microphone and they tell the rowers what to do. They help instruct the boat and tell it where to go and make sure that it doesn't hit anything. Rowers are just people just going back and forth you know yanking that oar. Within the boat you have your person sitting at the front, so Harper is our stroke seat, and we all follow her, so to be in stroke seat, you have to have really good rhythm and really good technique. Then the middle of the boat, we call the powerhouse, so for there, we're looking for really strong rowers, and then our bow seats are just really need to have good form. Regardless are every weekend. We'll pack up the trailer the day before, and strap down all the boats and the oars. The whole team will then drive to the location of the regatta. Some are local, but some are farther away, like Hartford. And you have to take apart your boats, put them back together, and you have to race, and then you're there for the rest of the day. From like 8 a.m. to like three or four sometimes. So well, you do have to stick it out. Regattas are a really fun time to just get to know your team, especially as a novice. Yeah. You don't have that many responsibilities of stuff you have to do, so it's a great time to hang out with your team. And we'll all hang out and have fun. We'll set up some tents, get some food there, and then when it comes time to race, we'll go down to the docks, line up, and then go. In spring, it's much shorter races. So that's more 2,000 meters, but in fall, it's 5,000 meters. And also in fall, it gets colder later on, so it's harder to row. During the summer, it's much more relaxed. Not everyone does it. Um, we're mostly in more single boats, so we'll either row by ourselves with, or with one other person instead of boats with four people or boats with eight people. And during the winter, we can't get on the water, so uh, this past winter, we were at All Sports and we either used the rowing machines or worked out there. To learn more about Northampton Community Rowing, reach out to the captains or visit their website at northamptoncommunityrowing.org. Thanks so much for watching and catch us next week.